Can you hear that? Wintering waterfowl, baby. Ooh, and a great horned owl. So we're right at first light here in Eastern North Carolina, and it's gonna be a day of waterfowl photography. I'm looking forward to it. So we're here early this morning, right at first light. Bunch of swans on the water, it sounds like. Great horned owls. Already seen a bear too, so. Let's get into it. Whew, it's nice and brisk. It's about 30, 32 degrees. <sighs> it's good to be back. Love it out here. It is great to be back. It's been a few months since I've been out here to the eastern part of the state and uh, we're in early December right now and we just got legal time to enter the refuge so I'm easing on in. Uh, primary goal today is to try to find and photograph some tundra swan and snow geese see what the snow geese snow geese numbers are like this morning. I know there's some in, some in the area by now but I'm just kind of curious to know there's a lot and so uh, early morning when you're driving in and around this part of the state um, you have to keep your eyes open because literally anything could be anywhere <laughs> at any moment so uh, trying to keep my eyes out and about looking for you know it could be red wolves it could be coyotes bear deer birds of any number um, but man it is a crisp cool morning um, we're hovering right at freezing outside and it is nice clear not a cloud in the sky and we got birds everywhere. I'm already seeing swans kind of dancing around up here. And uh, man, quite a bit right up here where we're headed now. Um, we're gonna be there in a few minutes and there's a bunch circling right up here. So this is exciting. Glad to be back. Glad to be making some videos for you guys um if you got a few minutes hopefully you'll tag along with me um and if we're lucky maybe we'll get something good so hang tight we'll be back with you in just a second get around here and see what's going on with all these birds just getting into the refuge and uh, just came across a screech owl. It is very dark so it's not optimal but I'll, uh, I'll check back a little bit later when the sun's up a little bit. But, Like I said, it's still dark. The sun's rising just behind the owl. So it's uh, gonna be hard to get a decent, decent photo, but it's really cool. Really cool stuff. He's actually really close to the road, so. 
I don't want to show too much because I don't want to uh, highlight where he is because photographers will bombard the hell out of him. <laughs> so but he's kind of tucked in a little nesting cavity there beautifully. Thank you, Mr. Al. Let's go photograph some swans. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Can't get over how beautiful it is this morning. Very nice out. Sunrise is in about 10 minutes so hopefully I can get some silhouetted shots of these swans flying hopefully here in just a minute we're almost there we're here try to find the whoa <laughs> try to find a, uh, a nice spot so the winds out of the north northeast this morning um not really ideal but i can make it work um the reason why uh, these really large swans and most waterfowl always take off and land into the wind and so how i can make it work what they're doing is they're actually landing away from me but what they're doing here is they're getting up off the lake and then coming to this impoundment and so they're circling around banking my direction to then land away from me so if i can time it right i should be able to get some nice silhouette shots um when this sky just starts glowing orange here in a few minutes i'll get some nice silhouette shots of them once they kind of bank bank around so i should get the whole bird feet spread open wings open and uh, get some nice colors. So I gotta get to on this because it's happening very quickly. And here's a flock coming in. So let's let's work through this. So I'm gonna shoot around 1600. Let's go to 800 ISO. And so shooting with a long lens, telephoto lenses of any kind. Um, it's difficult to keep track of birds so um what i like to normally do is i'll locate an individual bird or a group and say this is the ones that i want to photograph and that's where i start so we got one coming in right here i'm going to find him in the frame and he just decided to keep going <laughs> um and normally you just kind of look right over top of your camera i got this microphone on so it makes it a little difficult but so just have to be patient, see what happens. Got some that are a little further away. Try to locate a group. The sun's gonna be rising directly in front of me, so I should get some nice silhouette shots here shortly. comes a flock they're a little further away but i'll make it work so i lock in on them nice silhouette with the trees in the background beautiful colors oh i actually really like the distance shot there so hopefully that will happen again they are landing kind of far out but oh that was nice just take a little gander here at this oh yes beautiful colors and so what i was doing there i'm actually shooting around a stop underexposed to capture these silhouette shots and to make uh these colors in the sky really pop so here's another individual coming in and i missed him i was a little too late oh we got some that are closer here 
He's not as pretty. He's missing some feathers for some reason. Ooh, there we go. Off in the distance. There we go. That one, they're cupped just right. So the wings are really arced. We call it cupped and their feet were out. So that made for a nice photo. Woo, this is nice. Should have brought my gloves. All right. We're going to do this outside of the truck because this is actually very, very difficult sitting in here. So I'm going to grab my tripod, get set up outside. I'll be back with you in just a second. Normally I like to be eye level with my subjects. And since they're all above me, I'm going to elevate the tripod and start working. Oh, it's brief. All right, here we go. going for here is strictly silhouettes um, the light that's only what it's warranting um, the Sun is just just coming over the top of the tree now um, in a perfect situation they would be landing directly to me but the wind is like I said it's out of the north northeast so they're landing away from me so I'm having to fire a lot of frames as they're banking around um, getting some really good stuff so it's an awesome color now that the sun's coming up though i should be able to start photographing some birds on the water here with the really really orange water jet black silhouettes and the funny thing is these are solid white birds um and i'm, and I'm turning them jet black uh, it's the only thing that's working right now uh, now when the sun elevates a little bit we may can drive around to the other side and get them uh, from that angle but for right now it's a silhouette shoot only so uh, man, that is so good to be back. I can't say that enough. Um, that light's coming in beautifully. And man, it's just making for some beautiful photos. So I'd say about 50% of them are landing here and the other 50% are going to another spot. So um, I'm going to try to keep photographing as many as I can before these guys leave because I have a feeling they're all going to go that way. So. <laughs> side lighting so as the swans are kind of cupping around and circling um, I'm getting some really nice side light over here with the dark background and it's actually working out quite nicely so I'm overexposing a little bit maybe by like a stop yes I'm overexposing about a stop now 
um, to really show off those highlights and to give some detail in that dark shadows. Um, so the, when you're shooting in a situation like this, the light's constantly changing. So you gotta kind of be on your, on your A game and be ready. And fires a lot of frames just simply because the swans are constantly moving and I try to get individuals separated. Here we go, here's a nice flock here. There we go. Beautiful. So I want, I want the individual birds separated from one another so their wings are not overlapping, heads are not overlapping, you're getting you know, those awkward positions. But um, that worked out quite perfectly. So we got a flock of about five, six birds. I, I gotta keep shooting, I can't, <laughs> I can't walk and talk. There we go. All right, let me try to get some video of this because what's happening is now when they're doing that, the water is actually falling off of them. So it looks like rain and it's just kind of falling off their feathers before they just got off the lake. So let me get another group here and, and show you what I'm seeing. Man, my fingers are cold.
What a great morning. Man, well, we are about to wrap it up. It's been a heck of a morning. Uh, I've spent the last several hours with the uh, Tundra Swan and couldn't ask for it to be any better. Yeah, the wind wasn't perfect, but honestly, it kind of worked in my favor almost. Uh, like I said, they were circling around, cupping off to the side. So I got them turning and then landing um, sideways. And so I got a lot of in-flight landing shots that I cannot wait to get home and, and take a look at. So it's been a great, great morning. Um, saw the screech owl first thing, saw a bear as soon as I came in. So I couldn't ask for a better day. So super excited about it. And uh, I can't wait to get back out here. Um, if anyone's interested, I offer private workshops uh, and group workshops for wintering waterfowl here in Eastern North Carolina. Uh, pretty much every winter, uh, if I don't have a, a group workshop planned, uh, always reach out if you're interested. Uh, be happy to talk with you. Um, I can work with you individually, or if you got a group of friends that want to come and do the same thing, we'll uh, we'll definitely make it work out. But uh, got to start making my way, heading back into town. I had a great morning. I, I, I it's just this does the heart and soul so good to get out and spend time in nature with a camera in hand. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that. I want to thank you guys for tagging along with me and uh, I look forward to coming back out here. We're going to do this again. I'm hoping to get some different wind uh, for completely different photos. And if we can get it out of the south, southwest in the afternoon, it would be absolutely perfect for some for some uh, sunset photos out here with the swan. So thanks again for tagging along. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next go round. Now I gotta make the long drive back home. But let's see what else we can find on the way there.